hospital for a few more days. He's being treated for pneumonia. Former First Lady Barbara Bush entered the hospital Wednesday with bronchitis. Staff says she could be discharged on Sunday. 717 now on this Sunday morning. We got a mild start out there and a lot of fog too. Let's check in with Matt Lagore, who's in for Kelly Bates on this Sunday. Let's see what's going on weather-wise. There you go, Matt. There we are. Hi there. You Good just morning. wanted a nice long introduction there, right? <laughs> Ease right into it. Good morning, everyone. Yes, we are waking up to mostly cloudy skies and some areas of fog outside this morning. We're not going to see quite as much sunshine as we had yesterday, which was just a picture-perfect day. But all in all, not that bad of a way to finish out the weekend. Looking at our People's Credit Union Sky Cam from the Coast Guard House down in Narragansett, sunrise was just about 10 minutes ago, and you could see just a few peaks of some sunshine poking through the clouds. And right now, the temperature in Narragansett is 40 degrees. Winds are light out of the north, just around 6 miles an hour. And they will be picking up later on this afternoon as we head to the evening hours after a cold front pushes through. Outside this morning, temperatures into the 30s and the 40s, 38 degrees in Providence and Fall River, 34 degrees in Natterboro, Winsocket right now at 37 degrees, and the same goes for Boroughville. And temperatures today are going to be above average, but not quite as warm yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, we were in the mid-50s. I think most of the day today will probably be into the upper 40s, close to 50 degrees. Dense fog advisory still in effect for parts of southern Rhode Island, eastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and the islands, but that should be lifting around 10 o'clock this morning as conditions are starting to improve. Unfortunately, not for the folks in Martha's Vineyard. Visibility is cut down to less than a quarter of a mile. Here in the Providence area, we're around four miles right now, but still up in Smithfield, you can see around a mile and a quarter and westerly still dealing with visibilities down to less than a quarter of a mile. As we fast forward a little bit into tomorrow, we're going to be seeing a very hard hitting storm passing through the area, bringing with it some rain early afternoon, but the heaviest of the storm is going to be late tomorrow evening and into early Tuesday morning. We're going to be seeing some very, very heavy rains and along with some very strong winds. Winds sustained between 15 and 25 miles an hour and we could see some gusts as high as 45 miles an hour and parts of southeastern Massachusetts could see some winds even stronger than that. So a flood advisory, or excuse me, a flood watch in effect for tomorrow afternoon through Tuesday morning, we could see upwards of maybe an inch and a half to two inches of rain. That is all rain. If this was snow, we'd be talking about a much different story, but right now we're talking about a lot of rainfall for tomorrow, but still some potentially damaging winds. Again, winds on the order of 65 miles an hour for Cape Cod and the islands. So a very intense system passing through the area tomorrow afternoon and evening into early Tuesday. But then after that, things really start to quiet down. Outside this morning, we're dealing with mostly cloudy skies, some areas of fog along the south coast. High pressure up to our north is going to keep us dry for most of the day today. I think as we head towards the evening hours, we could see a couple passing showers uh, widely scattered as a cold front continues to sag through. But today we should be topping out close to 50 degrees. As we head to the evening hours, as you can see around 6 o'clock this evening, some hit or miss showers just in time for the Patriots game. So bring some light rain gear with you if you are lucky enough to be heading out to the, the Pats game. And as we head to the evening hours again into early tomorrow morning, temperatures starting out in the upper 30s. Rainfall starts to arrive late tomorrow morning. And then as we head into the evening hours during the evening commute, really starting to pick up in intensity. That's when we'll have the heaviest of the rain and the strongest winds and those showers will continue throughout the day on Tuesday and then finally starting to improve as we head into Wednesday. This afternoon 46 to 52 degrees after a foggy start we're holding on to the clouds but still very mild for this time of year and then for tonight mostly cloudy skies some hit or miss showers a little bit on the breezy side with winds out of the northeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Sun will be setting at 449 this evening days are getting a little bit longer and if you look at your seven day forecast again those showers will hang around for Tuesday but the Payoff is going to be the second half of the week. A lot of sunshine Wednesday through th Wednesday through Saturday, and temperatures still very mild for this time of year, with highs in the upper 40s and lower 50s, and we should be in the upper 30s. So not too many complaints in the weather department. Yeah, hardly only one temperature there below freezing yeah. in that stretch, huh? Oh, well, a very ungenuary like that's for sure. We'll say good morning to our Facebook friends now. Up early with us, Ed Haney says he's going to go for a morning walk. Then get ready for some football. I think a lot of folks will be yeah. doing that. But enjoy your walk. Nice mild weather for that. Deborah Bryan says she's going to be stuck.